In terms of challenges, well, I actually think HR's got a lot on its plate at the moment. You know, there's GDPR, there's the gender pay gap report, uh, there's, you know, industries restructuring. So HR's got a lot on its plate. But also HR is upgrading its foundations, really, um, by moving to the cloud. So these are long projects. Um, they're complex and they, they involve managers working in a different way. It's not a problem in that the foundational systems are in place, but I would look at it right at the beginning, before you choose the software that you're going to go with. Look at the business problems, look at the data that you'll need to solve those problems, and that can inform you know, the choice and the journey you make. That is so important because we can uh, record so many different data types at the moment. You know, we can hand out Fitbits. Um, I just saw a presentation today at the, uh, the Tucana People Analytics Conference about using uh, data from voice intonation, location. There's so many things we can capture. But the important thing is that we've got the trust of our employees. Else there won't be, tr there won't, there won't be any way that they will accept that, really. Um, so it's really important to empower employees, to make their own decisions, uh, to make them more effective in their jobs. And one sort of really sort of um, exciting area is organisational network analysis. So actually looking at the way individuals, employees interact in the organisation, looking at the behaviours. Um, so that could be uh, email behaviour, it could be from surveys. But you know, from that you can actually start to identify who the influential people are in the organisation. Uh, you can look at, um, you know, start to model leadership behaviour um, and also look at inclusion uh, for different groups of employees. Um, so on the face of it, it looks like pretty network diagrams. But I think if you use with a little bit of a scientific hypothesis testing with other data sources, I think it's really promising. Yeah, organizational network analysis is, is starting to become uh, uh, more and more popular.